In this video, I'm going to show you how to stop Gun Bunch in Madden 23. What's going on, YouTube? My name is Cody. Welcome to the channel. And today I've got a really, really good video for you to teach you how to stop one of the most popular formations year in and year out in Madden 23. Gun Bunch has been the meta offense or one of the top meta offenses uh, for years in Madden. And this year, I do believe that it is still very effective. And so I wanted to do a video basically showing my favorite adjustments for Gun Bunch um, that I like to use. And we're going to show it out of Nickel Over. Now, I just released a brand new nickel over defensive ebook if you want to check that out that's going to be in our patreon page um, it's only ten dollars to sign up for the patreon and you get access to all nine of my man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks that's right we've released nine ebooks for you guys with more on the way um, of course so if you want to check all of that stuff out Patreon members get access to unlimited content over there, as well as all of the updates to those ebooks, which we are releasing year round support for all of our ebooks this year. So, really excited about that. If you want to sign up, again, the link is in the description. It's just $10 to become a member and you'll get access to everything. All right, guys, so what we want to do. Um, against Bunch out of Nickel Over. This is one of my favorite little coverages is we're going to make sure that our zone coverage is set to match. That's really, really important for the tip that I'm going to give you in this video. And I believe that the best coverage for, um, for uh, Gun Bunch is Cover 6. I think that Cover 6 combines um, not only the best concepts within match coverage, but it's also very easy to adjust out of Cover 6 and be able to blitz out of Cover 6, um, which we teach you how to do all of that stuff in our match coverage defensive ebook again that's in the patreon as well um but what i want to do is just show you kind of a simple defense that i really like so um one of the things that you'll see is this c route on the left side is one of the more i think effective plays um and basically what will happen here with this defense is if i play man to man and this outside receiver is decent um he can get open on this um on the C route, let me see here. Make sure I got the C route on there, yep. So here's the C route, you see he's gonna go left and then he's able to get open on a left side, okay? Very effective way to beat man-to-man -man coverage. One of the best ways in this year's game to beat man-to-man -man coverage. So what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna kinda try to basically bracket the C route. So we're just gonna put our corner on the left side here. Um, we can, if we really need to stop a C route, we can put him in an outside third, but we can also put him in a cloud flat and we're gonna just back him off. So if the running back goes to the flat, that's kind of my responsibility in this play. And then what you'll see is a C route, I'm going to the flat to guard the running back and you see that the C route's gonna run right into the cloud flat. Now, obviously I'm using two controllers, but I've gotta be able to cut that off uh, as a user. So this is a great little bracket, if you will, for Z spot. And then I'm over in this area and you see that this deep half also will play pretty decent um, against that C route. So you've got kind of a bracket on one of the best routes in the game in that C route on the left side. Now, the other thing that you have with this coverage is you have the ability um, to basically bag any corner route to the right side. If they run a corner route from the outside bunch receiver, the middle bunch receiver, or the tight end bunch receiver, because you're in the box check, which we break down in detail in our Patreon, you'll get access, uh, or uh, not access, but you'll be able to uh, stop every corner route in the game. So you see here, I'm going to run a corner route, and it's not there. There's no way to throw a corner route to the right side, and that's the best piece of match coverage. Okay, so what your opponent is going to start doing is they're going to say, well, he's probably, you know, I can obviously tell he's in cover two to the left. So I'm going to put a skinny post here uh, to the right side, and then maybe I'll motion this guy um, outside to kind of help with getting the match coverage to try to break it, basically. Um, and what you'll see here is if they go to something like that, a lot of times you'll notice that this deep half will match um, will match that post over the middle of the field uh, relatively well. So he will be able to match this post over the middle of the field. And so what this does is it really goes back to square one um, for the offense. They can't, and I'm going to show you how far across he will match this by just spying my defensive line so that you can kind of see, um, so that you can kind of see what we're, what we're looking at here. Uh, but anyways, you'll see here, I'm just going to put a hitch here. Uh, but if you watch here, he will match this post all the way across. And notice he's not only just matching it, he's actually defending it. Like, he's actually going to stop it. So he will stop the post route. He will also be able to help you stop the C route. That's why it's one of the best zones in the entire game um, for defending Gun Bunch. And then the beauty of this is 
the running back in this formation, especially when we run nickel over, one of the real benefits of this formation is this four down lineman rush is really, really good. And sometimes it will come in completely scot free. So most people, when they play bunch, they're going to have to block a running back. What this allows us to do now is we can say, well, you can put all your energy over here on the left side into guarding the C route. So this outside apprentice C route that's so good against man to man coverage really can't get open when we put that outside third and of course as i say that it gets open but it really struggles to get open against the outside third it will also struggle of course with the soft squat because the soft squat when the running back is blocked and there's nobody over here going to the flat that soft squat zone will um, match the c route as you see right there and he's able to defend that so really really effective now um, i want to wrap this up by showing you one major thing that pro players will do to basically try to glitch if you will your match coverage and essentially it's this they're going to motion their running back to the right and then they're going to try to basically throw stuff so um you'll see right here i'm going to motion uh whoops chris goblin's going the wrong way there um i'm going to motion bernard over here to the right side and what you're going to see here is now my match coverage is effectively going to turn off this is the rule of four uh and basically what it does is when there's quads or four receivers to one side your match coverage principles most most of the time break however in cover six there's one key principle that you still have um, in your within your match coverage and that is that I can put this backside guy the soft squat will match him but I'm gonna put him in a cloud flat and then what you'll notice here is if I put this post out here what you should see is and, and I'll go ahead and spy my D line so that we can properly show you everything um, but what you should see here is this post route will get matched by the D path still just like he did in the actual match coverage. So this is why, and of course I got a crazy catch, but this is this is why cover six I think is one of the better coverages for uh, Gun Bunch. Now I wanna kinda wrap this video up by showing you something else here to the right side. So a lot of times this is, this is also done in an effort to basically make sure that we can throw a corner route to the right side. If you see this right here, what you can do defensively is honestly you can just be chilling. You don't have to overcommit because the way match play, not the way, not just the way match plays, but the way the 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 field sense logic with zones and the drift logic, you're going to notice that this will actually be fairly decent for the corner route to the right. You see there he matches the corner route and we're able to stop it. So we're not only able to stop post routes with cover six um, on the backside, especially within our match system, but we're able to, because they motion the running back over to try to quote unquote cancel our match coverage, they can't motion out a receiver anymore to be able to flood the side on the right side, which is really um, a key a key thing for our defense. Guys, that's as far as I can go today, but we got so much material in the Patreon. I really would encourage you uh, to check it out. Uh, we've got a ton, a ton of material on explaining match defense as well as the nickel normal or nickel over as they call it in this year's game, including a really crazy trick from nickel over that you can do that basically turns this defense into one of the most adaptable defenses in the game. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, it's only $10. You'll get immediate and unlimited access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks, um, and as well as all of the updates to those. So the link is in the description. So head on down there and check it out. I hope to see you guys over at our Patreon page.